Hey guys, welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today we're going to be talking rentals and what you can expect from your first game. So, we're not going to muck around too much, let's get right into it. So, you've booked in at your first site and you've booked a rental package. It's probably going to cost you about £45 to £50 for the day. It may or may not include lunch. And we're going to look now at what you're going to get with that rental package and what you might want to upgrade. So, let's start off with the... Uh, the most fun part, not the most important part, the most fun part, the gun. So, this is um, an SRC G36. This is pretty typical of what you could expect as a rental gun. Um, they shoot pr uh, pretty far, sort of 40, maybe 50 meters you can get out of one of these. They'll be shooting about 320 feet per second. They um, they take like a high, ca high capacity magazine, otherwise known as a high cap mag and it will have a door in the top where you can uh, pour the BBs and all you'll need to do put it in the gun change the fire mode from safe to semi then auto pull the trigger I'll just confirm there is no battery in this gun there are no BBs in this gun it is completely safe um, the one that you get when you rent will have batteries and BBs in but this is an example of what you can uh, of what you can get I might as well show you where the hop up is if you do get G36 platform, so it's right here, and what it's going to do is, when you turn this dial up and down, it'll actually move, and it'll apply more or less hop up, so you can get more or less backspin on the BB, and what you're looking for is a nice straight flight. So, along with the cool part, the gun, you actually only get one other thing. Your face protection. So what you'll normally get from the site is a full face protection and it'll probably look something like this. So as you can see this one's seen better days. Um, this hasn't been used for a very long time. It's got a single strap that goes over the back. I will put it on for you. And that's how it looks. Um, it's, it's pressing in the middle of my face. I can't see past the sides, it's quite blinkered, and I can actually see some light coming in the side here. So I'm not really getting that good a fit on here, but for the most part, this is the kind of thing you're gonna get. There's some protection, so I'm not gonna get my teeth, teeth knocked out. That's really good. But how does it look? So I don't know whether this will focus, I don't know how it will look, but looking through a mesh is, uh, is sometimes a bit difficult. So for your 45 or 50 pounds, you're gonna get this, and you're gonna get the use of one of these for the day. And you most likely won't need to have any BBs because what they'll do is, at the start of each game, they will come round and they will fill your high capacity magazine up. Uh, you'll normally get one of these. It'll hold between 300 to maybe all the way up to 600 rounds if you've got an AK or something. Some sites will give you two, a lot will just give you one. Um, basically, that way if you drop it or you lose it, you'll know because the gun won't be shooting. So let's talk about things that you might want to upgrade and how much do they cost. So let's talk about the most important thing, which is your eye protection. So I'm not a huge fan of mesh. Um, people either use cheap BBs or they can use um, tracer BBs. They have a propensity to shatter um, so I've had it happen to me before where I've been running mesh goggles and they've shattered, it's gone in my eyes. So I've got a couple of examples here of things that you might want to consider. So these are pretty dirty, um, they're pretty scratched, they've been well used. I lend these to friends um, because they're very, very good. This particular set is Bolle, um, or Bolly, um, and as you can see they've got a, they have a full seal on them. So it protects all the way around the eyes and they're actually almost like glasses. But there is this extra seal so let me just show you how they fit and there we go I can almost yeah I can see my finger I can see my finger a little bit at the side here but there's not enough of a gap for a BB to get through so that's one of the reasons that I will lend these out because there's no way that a BB is going to get up and get through there and actually I can see all the way around to here um, I've got my peripheral vision I'm much more aware of what's going on but there is a risk that I'm going to fog so let's go on to the next pair. 
This is, what are these? I Slim, I think they are. Uh, I Force Slim. So again, a really similar design, but the, instead of being like glasses, these have got some elasticated at the back. Again, you can see we've got some absorbent material here, which creates a full seal around the eyes. And again, you can see that these are, they're pretty scratched up. Now, these are actually dual pane, so it doesn't really come across on camera, but you can look for some reviews of these. They don't really fog up very much. So this is another pair that I lend to people. So again, I can put these on. Yeah, I know, look, I look a bit stupid. It's better than losing your eyesight. So here I've got a really excellent seal. I can't see anything down the side here. They're pressed right up against my face. Okay, I'm gonna keep these on. These are a winner so far. So these are gonna run you about 25 pounds, and so are these. So actually not that expensive, especially when you compare it to this kind of thing here. So now let's talk face protection. So you're gonna, this is the most common type. Um, it's quite stiff, but it means that you can bend it to the contours of your face. So let's put this on. There we go. So overall, not a bad fit. This is pretty much game ready. Um, any BBs that do impact me here or get through any sides like here, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's on your face, it's on your head, it's on. <coughs> It's directly onto your skin, that's going to hurt. But any shots that come through, my nose, my teeth, my eyes, they're all completely protected. But, hang on. It, it's still hard to look down the sides of my gun. So what can I do about that? Well, if you stump up about an extra five pounds, you can buy one of these. These I'm a big, big fan of. Um, they cost about 15 pounds. Um, they only have mesh at the very front, so it only covers your nose and down here. These bits are padded, so you've got a layer on the outside and then a, an absorbent layer on the inside. So let's, and it's also got um, like a larger piece at the back, so you can really set it on you. So let's wipe this on, see what we get. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some very uh, really good coverage so this is a bit more comfortable it's a little bit loose I can adjust that in but I can now see down the sights of my gun so what have I spent well let's get this, off. this is going to cost me about 15 pounds and this is going to cost what 25 30 pounds so this is going to hugely improve my experience over using this and that's the biggest thing when you rent a gun it's not just the gun um, each site they will maintain their own guns they're not going to give you the best guns in the world obviously um, you know, if you it's basically it's a taster for the sport it's whether you enjoy it but what I will say is you will enjoy it a lot more if you go down this route rather than this route so I hope you found that useful and informative and helpful as a guide to what you're going to get with your first um, with your first rental and a couple of things that you might want to get yourself as extras. Um, one more question that you might have is, if you've bought these things for yourself, do you get a discount? So if I phone up a site and I say, actually, I don't really need to book face protection, I just need to hire a gun for the day, it's probably gonna cost you exactly the same. Um, most sites that I know would, uh, would charge you the same amount for that. But ask, you know, what's the worst that they're gonna say? No and you're no worse off for that. So yeah, if you've got your own face protection, uh, you are gonna have a better time. You are gonna have a more enjoyable first experience. But all I'm gonna say is get out there, have some fun, go shoot each other, go get shot, and enjoy the sport. Welcome. <laughs>